everyone welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here my name is Charmin I post sunscreen uh, demos and reviews here on my channel um, if you're a brown skin girl or a brown skin person who is constantly looking for uh, sunscreen that is flattering on your skin tone that suits your skin type then you have come to the right place um, that's really all I do here on my channel if that's content you're interested in then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel before you leave so today I will be um, basically demoing and reviewing a whole bunch of sunscreens that I bought off of YesStyle. Um, now, Korean and Asian sunscreens are huge here on YouTube. Um, I think for a time it was probably dying down because of the Purito sunscreen scandal. I will be trying on four different sunscreens for you and letting you know what my thoughts are on those sunscreens. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, then stick around and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment before you leave letting me know if you've tried any of these products before. I tried to pick sunscreens that people haven't talked about here on, sun on YouTube that are reasonably priced because those are the types of sunscreens that I would be interested in. Price of the sunscreens for each of these, like they're going to be listed down below. I purchased all of these with my own money. Um, YesStyle I think gave me like a uh, like a one dollar coupon or something for being like a new customer but um and i do have like an influencer account like a um what do you call it like a coupon code with them so if you want you can go ahead and use it if you don't that's totally fine i just really wanted to see what asian sunscreens were all about and i wanted to try out basically affordable looking sunscreens that were also mineral to see what they were like on my skin tone so um the first sunscreen that i'll be trying on is the True Sika uh, Mineral Calming Tone Up Sun, sun Cream um, and it is SPF 50 plus PA 4 pluses um, and it says that the minerals are 100% you know um, the filters are 100% mineral filters it is um, zinc what I see in the back is, is that the main ingredient is zinc oxide which should be good for sensitive skin it shouldn't break you out but um and it's supposed to be calming so i'm not sure what other ingredients are in here because it's all in, in a different language and i can't read the ingredients on here but it is made in korea so it's a korean sunscreen if you follow my channel then you know i'm not really a big fan of fragrance um in any of my skincare products makeup products i don't really care about because i, I only wear it for a couple of hours and i remove it that's kind of the most i go with makeup but, you know, I should probably because I have sensitive skin. But the reason I don't like fragrance, one, is because I have sensitive skin. And so um, anything, any small new change in my skincare routine breaks me out. Um, and I just generally tend to be acne prone anyway. The second reason I don't like um, fragrance on my uh, skin is because it gives me headaches. So I have sen sensitivity <laughs> twice fold to fragrance. So this sunscreen is, again, mineral only. Um, it does have a fragrance and I think actually maybe all of these have fragrance except for the last one that I'm about to show you But this one um, is really nice on my skin. It feels really nice It left. I mean you'll see in the demo what it looks like on my bare skin But all of these sunscreens are great for under makeup. This one has the most pleasant smell um, It didn't give me a headache. It um, did leave a white cast a little bit, you know, because they're all zinc and a lot of these will leave a white cast if they don't have like a, a tint, it, tint to them, which I don't think any of these do actually. But it smells the most pleasant. It smells like soap and water clean. It's very fresh. If you're the type of person who also gets headaches from fragrances, then you might want to check this out because it, it didn't give me a headache and it actually smells really nice. So... You know, I mean, when it says that um, it is, you know, calming, I can see how the fragrance might be calming. And I think maybe they're referring to the zinc oxide in this formula because that's the thing that's supposed to be calming and not cause breakouts for sensitive skin. So I really like it. It feels really nice on the skin. It's good for oily skin. It didn't leave my skin shiny. You'll see in the demo what I'm talking about. Let me show you guys the texture just because... And this is obviously not the recommended amount, but I just want to show you what the texture is like. So it's immediately mattifying. There is, again, like a slight cast on my hand, but you'll see, like, it actually smells so good. It's very fresh. It's very clean. 
it's not overpowering at all and you'll see that on my even on my hand right now um, it has like a mattifying effect on my skin so I love that because I have oily skin and it tends to be less oily in the winter but it's still pretty oily like especially in my t-zone and I just I love it if I were to rank it along with my untinted mineral sunscreens which I've tried a couple I've tried the dermatology untinted mixed mineral chemical sunscreen that one is untinted I have also tried um, the CeraVe AM sunscreen which honestly I wasn't really a fan of probably number two so right below the dermatology untinted mixed mineral chemical sunscreen um, that one was probably the first sunscreen I tried from dermatology and I loved it but I would rank it pretty close to this one and this one actually might be more affordable. I, I don't remember, but I'll link the price details again for all of these down below so you have an idea. Um, yeah, so I really like it. I, th I think it'll work really, really great under makeup because it is mattifying, so it feels like a primer. It actually remi reminds me a lot of the Coats Prime and Protect, although that one is tinted. And I, I just go out usually with that sunscreen alone. But with this one, um, you know you can wear it under makeup and it'll have the same kind of effect and it's cheaper so yeah i really like the sunscreen stuff i'm just going to shake this up but it is the biore uv barrier me mineral dental milk spf 50 pa uh three pluses sunscreen and this one is i believe a japanese sunscreen you have to make sure to shake it up really well and i'll show you what the texture is again So this is again like a really nice and milky texture. That one compared to the True Sika one, it has like the True Sika one is a is a little bit like thicker, um, but it's still lightweight. This one, the the Biore UV one, is very milky. This one I actually don't really like it that much compared to the. The True Sika Mineral Calming Sunscreen. Um, this one is really milky again. It feels really nice on the skin, but I don't feel like it is quite as mattifying as the True Sika one that I just tried on for you guys. And you know, it's it's nice. It's just not. Um, it didn't blow me away. I like the texture. Um, I can't say the same for a lot of the other sunscreens that I've tried here, right? Like. I remember trying the one of the coats, the first coat sunscreen that I tried, which was tinted. It felt very heavy and greasy on my skin. It's great because it didn't leave a cast on my skin, but this one, on the other hand, feels very milky. It's very lightweight. It's probably one of the most lightweight sunscreens I've tried, but I just don't like the way it feels on my skin. It feels a little bit tacky, um, and even on my hand here, like when I've, you know, um, I put just a little bit on, of that product on my hand. I don't really like it. I don't know why. I think I have to give it a try um, a couple of more times to really make up my mind. And like I, it didn't blow me away. It just is. It's not going to be the first the first sunscreen that I reach for. Um, I would say it's average. If I were to rate it between one and ten, ten being the highest, I'd probably give this like a six. The next sunscreen is so cute. I really really wanted to try this sunscreen. But I think this will probably be, I just realized I'm going like from my favorite one that I tried to the least favorite. Um, I absolutely dis like, disliked this sunscreen. I didn't like it at all. Here, I'll shake it up for you guys. I tried to pick the travel size if it was available. Um, so this was only a couple of dollars. It is the Sun Bears Strong Cool Plus SPF 50 Plus. PA 4 pluses. Start, let's start off with the texture. Again, the texture is so milky and nice. Like you see how watery that is. It absorbs so nicely into the skin. Um, you'll see in a second, like it totally disappears. The reason I don't like it. Ugh, the, the reason I hate the sunscreen. It's hate is such a strong word, but the reason I really dislike the sunscreen is because of the smell. Um, and the sensation that it has. This is probably the worst thing that you could put on your face that claims to be a sunscreen, honestly, because, and I, and I know I'm being harsh when I say this, but this is literally like lycodene on your face. Um, it is, it's basically menthol. It's a whole bunch of menthol, you know, mixed in with sunscreen. I'm sure it has great sun protection coverage, like it says. 
question. This is just so uncomfortable. It, um, it was burning my eyes. It was tearing up. I couldn't even go on to use the correct amount of sunscreen, right? That's recommended with this product because it is so uncomfortable on the skin. So I do not recommend the sunscreen at all. If I had to rate it between a one and 10, just because of the menthol alone, menthol or whatever it is in here, I'm guessing it's menthol. Um, I would give it a one because I just, I just really dislike the sunscreen. So this is going to be going in the trash because I am not going to be passing it on to anybody else. Yeah. All right, so the last product, I kept it in this packaging because I couldn't get any information on it, um, is the the Sun Kill Natural 100 Mineral SPF Powder. It is SPF 46 and PA3 pluses. Um, this is a powder. If you, um, so if you're one of those people that have trouble reapplying sunscreen throughout the day, then you might consider like powder-based sunscreens, which is what I do. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, like a powder sunscreen, like the one from Peter Thomas Roth, to swipe over my face and, and I'll head out. This sunscreen I was hoping was supposed, you know, was going to be like a inexpensive dupe for that sunscreen, but it was such a fail, you guys. <laughs> it was such a fail. Okay, so the product itself, great. You just, it's going to leave a white cast because it's pretty much just zinc. So if you put on more than like a little bit of a dusting on your face, then it's going to leave a white cast. It's going to make you look like a pale ghost, especially if you're brown skin like I am. So I think it's fine, like a little bit over makeup if you want to dust some underneath your eyes or like a little bit around your full, whole face to set it. But if you're wearing a lot of it, it's going to leave a white cast. Let's get to why I don't like this product though. The only reason I don't like it is because of the packaging. There's a little feature here that allows you to like pop it back in place. But I didn't know this the first time I was trying this. So what happens is like it's just really messy. Like this pops, it's cool that it pops into this thing here when you're done using it. But when you're trying to use it, like what do you do? Do you like dump a lot of it and you know onto this thing and then put it all over your face and swipe it on? Because when you just swipe it on, you'll see on the demo that like it's not, it doesn't look very nice on my skin. There's no way to blend it. The sponge is not good for blending. I had to go back in with my powder brush um, to blend it. On the other hand, like you're removing product when you do that. And then like when you try to put this back in, it's like you really have to struggle with it. It doesn't go back in. And then like if you wanted to do, if you wanted to use this as like a, Kind of like a the same way that you'd use the peter thomas roth uh, powder brush right like where there's sunscreen on the bottom and you just swipe it on with that powder right expecting it to and it covers your entire face you can't do that with this you have to remove this um and if you were to do it like keep it on like that it would make a whole mess which is what happened to me it made a whole mess because i was just trying to figure out how to use this the, the puff that it comes with is not great. It's soft, but it's awful for distributing product on your face, and I don't recommend it. Otherwise, I think the product itself is good, like especially if you're just lightly dusting on some powder to set your face after makeup, you know, it's a good extra, it's a good extra bit of coverage. If you're only relying on this though, I wouldn't because it's gonna make you look like a pale ghost if you're brown skin like I am. So overall, I think I have to figure out another way to use this powder because it just i want to use it but i haven't figured out how yet. these are the four sunscreens that i tried off of yes style um i don't know if you know this is the first time i've tried them if you have tried them in the past and if you have your favorite asian sunscreens then please let me know down below i just don't know what to do with all these products you guys like you know it's I'm only buying them for review purposes. This channel is not monetized, even though there are ads on it. So I'm just like throwing away like good money on these products just so I could show people out there like what's good and what's not. So please, please support this channel. Um, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Um, and let me know what your thoughts are about the sunscreen.